pan back, it was a false alarm. It was the wrong number. I don't know why they called me so early in the morning. Why did they do that? Why? Why? I don't know. I lost my train of thought. What was I thinking about? What was I, what was I talking about? What was, where were we? Where, where am I? Rolling, oh, rolling stops versus rollovers. I was kind of showing how, how rollovers look, yeah. How they are a grip changing technique. And once you get, I was gonna, this is what I was gonna say. Once you start getting the hang of them, you'll find that they happen naturally. Like it's just a natural thing that happens. You want to get into a different grip. You want to get into low grip. You, you'll figure out how to do that just from rollovers to get you there. Like so. Yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, <clears throat> where I was going with this. <laughs> I was going someplace with it. Anyway, I'll show you unhook ladders now because that's what I wanted to do. Unhook ladders. What's an unhook? First, I gotta show you what an unhook looks like. Are you ready? I did this in a past uh, copycat and I think one person went after me and they added to it and it looked pretty cool. Because when you do it, just one of them, one unhook, I, it doesn't look that impressive. But this right here to here is an unhook. I don't know what it added. What, what do you call that? A, a transfer? Because it is a grip change. But from here, from the middle of the string, of the cord, if you go like so, and then it goes to the next finger, you go like that, you go like that, that's an unhook ladder because you're going from one finger to the other. You do it smoothly, do it smoothly like this, it takes practice, it looks kind of cool. This trick was originated by somebody on Instagram, and I can't think of their name right now. But I don't want to take credit for it, but it is something that I learned how to do before watching somebody else do it on beggary through uh, Halo. <laughs> and uh, I think in Halo it's called chain switches so that's what it is to me because I play Halo if you don't know what that is I'm not wearing my Halo that's a Halo that's a Halo and that's a trick that I learned on Halo so it's nice to see tricks from other skill toys crossing over into into each other because that's you know that's how we get more creative. That's how we progress the skill. When we cross train with other skill toys and then bring in those tricks and they cross over and translate differently or similarly into a different skill toy. And I like to do that a lot. I do that with, with all my stuff, really. <laughs> if, you see, if you see the the clips or my videos that I do, I do a lot of two-hand stuff. I do a lot of two-hand stuff. Yeah. That's a crossover from nunchucks to me, nunchaku. And that was something that I learned, oh my god, years ago, so long ago. But I also did two-hand tricks with astrojax, which was like another toy that I was really popular for and, and played a lot with and had like so many videos of. But a lot of those tricks kind of translated into beggary when I started doing beggary and vice versa. And they go back and forth. Monkey Knuckles is another uh, cross trainer 
a really good steel toy that you can cross train with. I, I like long string toys more so than shorter string toys, but I was kind of grown on those. Like I brought, I was, I came up doing that. That was what I learned how to do, and uh, I had to train myself to do short game. So I wasn't used to that, and that was kind of strange for me to get into. But now I'm kind of versatile in both. And I can do both kind of fluently now. When I couldn't before, I was only like, oh no, I can't. I started off with short game, and then I didn't really care for it. But I got, in, I got more into long game, you know, and that was what I was... That's all I did. I was kind of doing the length that people weren't doing in the, in the beginning when I started doing beggary. And now everybody is pretty much at the length that I was doing. And everybody said, that's so long. And now everybody does that length, so it's just the normal now. So now I started doing short game. Because I like to do things that people don't do. I, <laughs> I'm just kind of that way. So it's like when I see that something gets popular, then I go the other way and try to work on that stuff that's not so popular, but it's still fun and cool. And it's not that it's not as popular because there's a lot of short games out there. Short gamers that kill, they rock. They're, they're solid on the short game. And, uh, but it seems long game is a little bit more popular. But either way, I think it's good to be versatile in both lengths be able to transfer what you can do with one link to another. So I have my sets kind of set up so that I can easily switch. I just put I just put a knot on each side just to make it shorter when I feel like doing short game. Yeah. And this is my usual link. That's my long game. What, where, where was I? Oh, yeah. I got carried away. Okay, so these for Halo is called chain switches. But on Beglery, it's called, what is it called? Unhooked, I guess, transfers. But they're unhooked. Where, where that term came from, I don't know. <laughs> I've tried to name some tricks, but they never seem to take, and, and my tricks never seem to get popular either. So, so I don't know where the popular tricks come from, or who names them, or where the names come from. That's past me, that's beyond me, I do not know. But I will show you how to get into that, okay. So you get into it from low grip, yeah? And it's gonna be like that. That's the setup for an unhooked position. Yeah. From there, you can switch over fingers. That's an unhooked ladder. And then from there, you can um, roll out of it if you can. I don't know. You can. I just haven't. I'm having trouble doing it slow. <laughs> This is one of those tricks that you gotta be in the flow for. But I'll show you again. So that's the first step. You're at low. You wrap over the three fingers, right? Let it rest on your thumb. You have your finger, your index finger is ready. It's locked and loaded, yeah? Now you let that cord fall over your index finger, okay? You still have it hooked here. Then you just release it. That's unhooked. Now you do this number. You do this number. It's just like a simple roll over from fingers. That's an unhooked ladder. That was fun. You should try that. That one's cool. I haven't seen too many people doing it. But, uh... I like, I like tricks that are not very, that you don't see all the time, you know what I mean? I like, I like uh, creative, strange, 
things <laughs> that are not the normal, I guess. That's just what that's just what I do. That's my preference. That's what I like. Nobody. I don't see anybody doing this. I still do this. This is like a rolling stop with a with a catch and go, I guess. Like catch and release and catch and release. I just do it so fast that you don't see what's happening. And I do that with the thumb. So it's slip and a rolling stop. Why did I bring that up? Oh, because I like to do tricks that nobody else does. <laughs> and like I said, I, I think I do, I name them. Some of them I name, but then I forget what, what names I give them, so. Yeah, real helpful, right? <laughs> uh, I think I've covered everything I was going to cover. I can do like some freestyle for you real quick before I sign off. If you're watching, thank you for watching. And remember that we stream every Saturday. I don't usually do it this early, but I got plans today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna skate today. I'm gonna skate today. And uh, I wanted to do it early because it's just gonna get hotter if I don't do it now. But yeah, we basically streams, anyone can stream. If you want someone to join you, they can hop on your stream. That's cool, too. Uh, we encourage all new members to stream if you want to. You can do tutorials. You can do uh, just collection, show off your collection, you know, unboxings. Shout out to Rob. He's always doing unboxings. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, the time limit is 30 minutes long give like a five to ten minute warning post on the group beforehand so that people don't stream at the same time other people are streaming uh, just so everybody can watch everybody and uh, I mean you can stream anytime but we do it as a collective in the group on Saturdays so it's kind of like a ritual <laughs> I lost it on the switch. Thanks for watching. That's it. I'm done. I will let you enjoy your Saturday. I'll talk to you later. If you want to follow me, you can. I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. I'm on SoundCloud. I'm on everywhere. I'm Cloudy Girl. See you later.